Hey everybody and welcome back to the Prince of Persia, the Warrior Within, or Warrior Within. I just like to say the because it makes it sound more dramatic. But mm, 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 this wonderful, wonderful game. Camera tutorial. Use the right analog stick to move camera. Nah, nah, nah. Oh, that's what I need to do. Uh, uh, options, sounds. Let's increase the music. Uh, we'll leave the music there. And uh, controls. Uh, oh, they don't let me change the controls, really? Oh, wow. So this just this game because they have the inverted axes where when you push to the left the camera goes right when you push to the right the camera goes left that's fine the only <clears throat> inverted axis excuse me that i don't like are god does this camera are the ones where no, I don't. Okay, I don't know what's over here. Um, are the ones where, you know, the up and the down and switch. That's just a pain in the butt to deal with. But anyway, please bear with me as I get my bearings with this camera angle and with this. Lost. I will find the wife who did this. And she will pay. Oh, he auto climbs this time. Nice. I got that. It's nice and decent and convenient but yeah man I love Ubisoft I love the games that Ubisoft makes they are highly damn this, this camera mm. the, oh well hey now what is this yeah got some artwork can't look at it just yet but got some all right so um uh what am I doing Okay. Okay, I'm not going that way. Sorry, for me it's a, just a just a tad uh just a tad uh just a tad dark. Oh god. Okay. Okay. So I think I'm starting to get the hang of these controls, but yes, they streamlined a lot of stuff. They've taken some life lessons away from uh, uh Okay, here we go. My brain is beginning to function properly now. We're going to try this for a third time. And it, there we go. All right. Figured it out. Oh, but this is going to mess with me. But they streamlined a lot of the processes. Oh, the fountain. And it's just the tears the tear fountain so it's not you know sitting stagnant dirty water anymore it's actually oh you can save that fountains that's right awesome so awesome um but yeah they've changed the controls they've changed the setting they changed the combat the prince i don't okay Um, the prince can actually dual wield weapons now, and it's not just wielding the dagger and um, his whatever sword he has, but it's actually dual wielding different weapons, which is exciting. And every okay, and uh, just just let it run out. There's there's no redeeming me from that which sucks it's the the end game screen is so dramatic because it's just like game over you die and it reminds you so cruelly that you died it's not nice like the last one was like mm, that didn't happen no this is a much darker prince of persia where you're uh there are consequences for your actions immediate consequences um but the prince can dual wield and Unlike the last game, he can steal his opponent's uh, weapon and kill them with it and continue to wield said weapon. It's just fantastic. 
Um, and he also gets more weapons as he as he goes through the game. Um, the types of weapons that he can use are varied. He can use swords like he has already. He can use um, heavy weapons like axes and maces. And it's just, oh, it's just an awesome, all the way around, awesome, amazing experience. Moving tutorial. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, I had to run. Right. Okay, come on. Come on. There we go. And uh, yep. He's still acrobatic. Uh, for those of you who don't know, this game takes place seven years. Seven years. Uh, for first person, R2. Okay, so... Looks like I gotta climb up. Uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, this game takes place seven years after the first Prince of Persia, where he save the world didn't get the damsel because the damsel didn't remember um and he's been haunted ever since more artwork he's been haunted ever since by this thing that you saw chasing him in the uh, help me with this oh. Yeah, I'm just beating him down with a stick. I stabbed you through your body with a stick. Can I? No. Oh, gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give there we go. So, yeah, just like that, I can defeat an enemy. I can take their weapon with me. So now instead of just having the first stick that you got in the uh, little little walkthrough area now you have two weapons and I can damage them even more instead of you know taking like an hour to beat them in the face with another stick so that's always cool uh, okay I, I see you. and his weapons oh god I'm getting I'm getting massacred here we go. There we go. Much better. And I can throw a weapon away. Pick it up. Pick it up. There we go. And I can press a button and I can pick up a new weapon. The weapons, the secondary weapons that you get, um, until you start getting closer to uh, some of the more secret weapons, some of the more unlockable weapons that you have to actually... I'm just trying to see if there's anything over here. And no. Um, that you get later on in the game um, are destructible. So you always have to be on the lookout for your weapon durability. Oh, yeah. And we actually have a map this time that's relevant to what we're doing and where we are. Uh, because in this game, you travel back and forth through uh, the palace and you actually have to go back and revisit areas and do different things to reach other areas. It's so cool. Um, sword this ancient sword is common on the island spider sword so finally 
uh, I get my brand new first sword. Oh, gosh. Nope. All right, here we go. Let's. Alright, gotta go, gotta go. Alright. No, that's not the. Not the that's not what I need to do. Oh, gosh, Prince. We're, we're doing this again. Okay, so. Come on. Throw it. There we go. No. That was a charge. Uh, ah, yes. Okay, so circle is the throw. Another circle to pick up. I need a drink. Is there a fountain anywhere near here? Um, no. Okay, there we go. No, fate's just gonna be a cruel mistress and tell me to survive. Uh, okay, I can look at that. Wait, no, fountain. Oh, the tears. The tears of my enemy. I love it. I love the fact that he doesn't um, absolutely need to just dive head first into a sand vortex and have a fever dream slash seizure and wake up in a pile of his own self. That's awesome. Um, but the prince is a completely different person. Man. He is just ruthless. He's not sparing his enemies in the least. Um, his fighting is more vicious. His uh, combos that he uses in combat are vicious. I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. That was luck, cause I that camera angle was crazy. the crow master his is a come here yeah okay that did nothing or it did a little something I have more important matters to attend to come on sword which was done because I want his sword because his sword is actually pretty darn decent um all right if it's a fight you want oh yeah he disappears and then reappears I'm tentative about doing that move where you run up the guy's face and uh, come on, here we go. I'm tentative. Uh, okay, how am I supposed to get up there? Oh, gotta go to the side, right? Um, tentative about doing that move because since this game is so unforgiving. And I am lost. Any day now, Prince. Okay. So, all right. So I do have to go that way. Since this game, excuse me, is so unforgiving, I'm tentative to do that move. Um, because the game will let you die. Unfortunate that you have fallen so easily. 
Yeah, it's good. This game is good as talk. It's good at talking junk. Ah, okay. Oh, okay. Maybe I have to go this way. Yep, yep, yep. This is the way. A lot more high flying acrobatics in this game. But um, what I need to do is I'll actually need to cut the video here. Thank you so much for joining me. If you like the video, mash that like button like there's no tomorrow and share the video with the world. As always, hit me up on Facebook. Hit me up on Twitter. If there's a game you want to see me play in the future, uh, go ahead and let me know. I'd be more than happy to play these games. Um, and I'm the outlier. Until next time.